Hey guys, I'm back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at some leaked stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so we have some leaked stuff to look at. Um, some stuff, I guess some new pets. We also have a leak for the sort of moon island that's coming out, so let's go ahead and look at those. Alright, so first up we have a leaked mount. This is called Icon Mount 39. Um, it's pretty much just like a blue sled. I think that it looks really cool actually. And here is what the spine port looks like. So this is going to be like what's in front of you. This is going to be what's behind you. And this is what it looks like fully put together. So this is the idol for it. So this is just the back of it. Um, and then here's the front of it. This stuff doesn't really matter. So yeah, I can't really show, but it looks like animated. But this is what it's going to look like when you're riding. If I show it animated, it kind of just has that uh, thing where it only shows the front or the back part of it. So I can't show that. Moving on, Eve is going to be editing a spine update. So this is called Spine NPC Eve. And you can see that it has been updated to be rasterized HD. So this is what it looks like now. So she sort of seems to have like an anchor and sand right here. Um, I guess she sort of looks similar to how she used to. I feel like I've seen something that looks like this before, but I definitely haven't. Maybe in like one of the ads or something, Eve looks sort of like this. So yeah, she only has one animation, and that is her idle animation. Next up, we have the, I guess this is like the sheep? I don't even remember what it's called. Um, but this is a buddy that you get in Skywatch, or you might have used to be able to. I don't know if you can get it anymore. But it was in Skywatch. It has been pixelated up until until now this is what its spine is going to look like so um before it was kind of hard to notice the water droplets but before or er, now they are very noticeable um it'll look better in game probably not like this low quality now we also have two leaked pets coming to prodigy these are not yet in game so this is the first one it's in i believe the second evolution of growl like in between growl and a chromie so this is the spine for it so not really anything too special here but we can see what it looks like put together and you can definitely see that this is going to be an evolution of Rowl. Here's what its attack animation looks like. So it's kind of just not really anything too special. We also have its idle animation, which is kind of what you'd expect. And then its walk animation is just it walking. All right, and then we got another one. This is kind of interesting. This could indicate that we're going to be getting a Tribeak second evolution as well. This is Icon Pet 326. This is the uh, spine board. It's probably the exact same as the one that we see for the Stormy Tribeak. But this is what it looks like put together. It's pretty much just two Tribeaks, um, or I guess Stormy Tribeaks. Um, but yeah, not really anything that you'd um, not expect. It's kind of exactly what you would expect it to look like if they were to do two. Um, yeah, so these are all the animations for it. Then here is one that's pretty interesting. This is called Spine Interact Moon Door. So this is going to be how you get to the moon island before we had had sort of like a gate that um, was not very good quality and it turned out it was just like an image that they found off of Google sort of. Um, so they actually updated it to probably be their own art I would say. Um, but this is the spine for it, so we can see these moons right here, like here, 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 there's one right here, and we have some clouds, and then it does have an idle animation, which is sort of, it's just going up and down, like it's breathing, sort of, which I don't know why it's doing that. Um, I think this may be where, like, in Lamplight Town right now, we have the statue to battle the ice worm right here. I think that this could possibly be replacing the ice worm or whatever statue we normally have there. I think that this new door will be right over here. Now I sort of think for this um, moon event that we're going to be having, it could sort of maybe be a redo of Starlight Festival in a way. We did have some leaks, I guess it was probably in October, um, where they updated 
Starlight Festival, or like they added stuff into the assets that were basically Starlight Festival, but a darker theme. Maybe we could be seeing that in this festival, and it could be like Moonlight Festival or something. That's probably not what it would be called. Um, that that's sort of just a theory that I have. Sort of what I mean is in this video that I made, like, uh, probably in October, um, we got this new thing, it's called Set Town November Night. So, obviously this did not come out in November, but this is basically just Starlight Festival, but a darker theme, which is supposed to be night. So, I think this could possibly be what we see for this Moon Festival, or I guess it's probably supposed to be a New Year's Festival. Now, we also did get a few Pet Gear stuff that was added into the game, so this is called Pet Gear Hat. So, um, I think it's 112, um, but this is what it looks like. I don't even know what these are called. It's kind of like pine with just some berries on it. I don't know what those are. Um, then we have one that, this one's pretty cool, it's um, like a snow globe, maybe that's Shiver Chill Mountain in there, uh, I don't know. Then we also have this, which is just a piece of holly, and then we have this relic, which seems to be lightning in a bottle. I feel like we've had a Mythical Epic Quest item that looks pretty similar to this. And then we did get some stuff added into the data, so this is called MMAH Pop-Up Line 1. So I think this is supposed to be more Magicoin at home, I think that's what MMAH st stands for. Um, and basically it just says get more Magicoin at home, more Magicoin at home, play after 4pm uh, and on Saturdays and Sundays to get more Magicoin. And then it says Magic Coin Bonus. And then this is the one that I think it's interesting. It says Festival Tier Return Today. Come back after 4 p.m. Maybe, since it says Festival Tier, maybe that possibly means that we could end up getting a few more Magic Coin during festivals. Um, although I think that's very unlikely. But yeah, that was pretty much everything that was added into the assets and the data today. So that is going to go ahead and end of the video. Also, let me know what you guys think um, we will see for the moon. Also, let me know what you guys think you will see in the New Year's Festival. Will it just be some reskin version of Starlight Festival? Or will we actually see some sort of like new area inside of Lamplight Town? Will everything actually look different from Starlight Festival or will it just be darker? If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and bye.